all over the world. Stigma, shame, lack of access to education, just a few of the prices women pay, even here in the United States, because we haven't been able to talk about something we're ashamed to say. Periods happen, and without menstruation there would be no people. Days for Girls helps girls go to school and women go to work by ensuring they have the feminine care products they can count on month after month. I would drop by whenever I was in Kenya about every six months to an orphanage in one of the largest slums in the world. Uh, I just fell in love with these kids and wanted to help. One morning, I asked what the girls are doing for feminine hygiene. The second in command there said, only this nothing they wait in their rooms it turned out that they would sit on a piece of cardboard for days and i knew we needed to change that i would like to say that's when days for girls was born but instead for me that was when i was aware of an issue there were times that i went without food and lived in our car and there's a photo of my siblings and I. It never occurred to me that I was the stepdaughter in the bunch. But I didn't understand why I would take the brunt of violence. But I also was the oldest, and so I would stand up for them. My stepfather disowned me legally. Who has that happen in this day and age? I really am fortunate to have survived those weeks and months. And it was in those weeks that I was introduced to my biological father. From the beginning, he just worked at sweeping me off my feet. He's an extraordinary human being. And right now we've been married for over 30 years. I just wanted to help. And so my first thought was disposable because that's what I was accustomed to. I hadn't thought of the fact that they had no place to throw it away. So the pit latrines were stopped. The chain leak fence adjacent to the latrines was filled with disposed of pads that were rolled up in every little link of the chain link. They started out white because pads are white. And we learned really quickly that that didn't work because now, who of us would want to hang a stain pad in our front yard to dry? And the girls explained how taboo it was to hang anything out menstrual related. And this is how you make a pad not look like a pad. If the color makes you smile, it's the right color. It was right after that that they'd just gotten their first kits and they explained, thank you so much because before you came, we had to let them use us if we wanted to leave the room or go to class. They were being sexually exploited in exchange for a single disposable pad. That, for me, was the moment Taste for Girls was born. They get two shields, a bar of soap, eight liners, a pair of underwear, a, an insert, a washcloth, Soon we had more and more requests. I made the, the patterns available all along the way on the website to share with people openly how they too could be involved. When I first heard about this need in the U.S., I, I have to admit I was surprised though I had experienced it myself. We got a call first from New Orleans Communities and schools group had called and said, we have an estimated 3,200 girls that are going without adequate feminine care supplies. These enterprises are a way for them to replicate the 
money making just enough to pay for the product and to cover a living wage for those who are making sure they get out into the field. We have an army of people moving the movement forward to recognize that menstruation matters and that we can have this issue be managed all over our planet. And this bucket is a hygiene product. This is only that way, that way. Our goal is to reach every girl, everywhere, period. There are so many things that are hard to change in this world. This isn't one of them. This is something we can change.